I'm Kathy Brown, a realtor with Caldwell Banker Wallace in Knoxville, Tennessee. You're probably wondering why I'm doing a virtual communications video if I'm a realtor. But previously, I was a social media consultant known as Brown Nose Social Media. Yeah, that was me. And I've done a lot of virtual meetings in my day and even live broadcasts. So I'd like to give you some etiquette tips on how to join virtual meetings while you're working at home during this coronavirus season. When you're invited to a meeting, RSVP, it's important that they know who's coming and who's not coming because those who say they're coming and then don't come in, they assume have a technology issue and they might hold up the meeting. If you RSVP, make sure that you have a calendar event to remind you. And in that calendar event, add the link to join the video so you aren't searching for it in all your emails two minutes before it's time to join. When you get into the meeting, mute your mic. Usually, the person hosting the meeting can see who has their microphones on and off. So if you have it off to start with and then you turn it on, it's also a signal that you want to speak. Even if your microphone is off, it's a good idea to mute your phone and other devices so they don't distract you. Pay attention to what's in your background. You may miscommunicate if you don't. If you've got last week's beer bottles still sitting around, they might think you're drinking while you're at work. And if you have a book that says how to better yourself for your next job, your boss might think you're looking around. So clear those things away and look like you're in a workspace. Be present when you're in the meeting too. Look at the camera, look at the people talking, don't look away, don't be making conversation with your uh, other half or a pet or anything else. When you place your laptop on a table for the meeting, don't put it in your lap. When you put it in your lap, not only is that a weird angle, but even if you can slouch, you're still holding it in a way that it's constantly bouncing and moving. And it's really distracting when people can see that movement. So place it on a table, try to have eye level as best you can if that's possible. And also pay attention to lighting. Notice that you can see my face. Now look what happens when I put a window in my background. If I have the light source behind me, I become a really dark figure. When I put a light source in front of me, you can see me a whole lot better. Be careful how you move your laptop. In the early days when video conferencing was new, I made the mistake of moving my laptop from one place to another when I was chatting with someone virtually, and I gave them quite a shot. I, I learned my lesson then, and I'm gonna pass it on to you. Hold your laptop out as if it's still on the table and carry it to the next place so you don't inadvertently show something you don't want to. Periodically look at yourself on video just to make sure that you haven't moved. Nobody likes to talk to Egbert. Lastly, don't work in your pajamas. You might think you know when you have your virtual meetings, but that unexpected phone call when you forget that you're still in your pajamas and you answer can be really embarrassing. And those are my tips for today. Stay healthy, work hard, and if you have any real estate needs, call me. <laughs>